I want to share my opinions of the uh, Kershaw Skyline. First thing is, you'll notice that I don't like um, pocket clips. I've talked about that before. I don't like to have the pocket clip on it. One thing I did notice when the pocket clip was on it is if you have it in the tip up carry, then by the time you get the material plus the, the bend of the of the pocket clip, you've probably got about an inch of this knife sticking up out of your pocket if you carry tip up. So about where my thumb is is about how deep that'll sit in your pocket. And the same thing goes with uh, this side. It'd be about like that. That'd be about how much sticks out of your pocket. So for me, I just don't like having a knife sticking up out of my pocket. I like to have a knife down in my pocket. I've talked about that before. So I've just taken the clip off. Now, that being said, it makes the profile of this knife, or the, the yeah, I guess it would be the profile, it makes it a nice thin knife to have in your pocket. Being down in your pocket, though, it does have some hot spots because of the way it's ground, the way it's designed. Uh, this is very pointy. This edge right here is very pointy, and I'm finding that it, already it's starting to kind of wear in my pockets a little bit or wear my pockets or make wear marks. And then also this one too. So probably at some point what I'll do is I'll take and I'll grind this back a little bit here like this and then round it this way. And then also on this one I'll probably grind it back just a little bit and then round it this direction. So I'll thin the, actually thin the G10 scales a little bit and just kind of round this off, sort of melt it. And then probably this one right here too, I'll probably melt this corner here a little bit. And um, the next thing that I would probably do is I'd take this flipper and I'd bring this flipper way down so it just barely protrudes off the back. So that all I have to, so that when I push it, it just disengages the blade. I don't need it to open the blade as much as it opens it. So I would probably just have the flipper just disengage the, the lock and I can flip the knife open enough that way. And that would eliminate this finger guard action of the flipper a little bit, but with as deep a choil as they have it, I still don't actually need a finger guard at all. Another thing that I will probably do is I'll bring this G10 here on this side. I'll bring this back a ways like this and take this corner off a little bit and then, and then uh, take it down this direction so that I can engage the thumb stud a little bit better and also so that I can engage the uh, liner lock a little bit better so um, other than that I'm really enjoying it it's a great knife and um, for around 35 or 40 bucks I think everybody ought to be picking one of these up